Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can set up quick replies inside of conversations for Facebook and Instagram. What is a quick reply? A quick reply is a predefined message that pops up inside the chat so that the customer can just select, press a button and then the message gets sent. For example, they comment on a Instagram post or a Facebook post where you say, hey, if you want this PDF, please comment me below. Then they would comment me below. The bot gets triggered. Hey, did you want the PDF? Yes or no, right? And then they click yes. And then from there, you could continue the conversation based on the reply they've given to you using ChatGPT integration inside of our workflows or just set up your usual workflow via the reply via the M action. You can configure up to 13 different replies and each reply has a limit of 20 characters. Once a customer selects a quick reply, they cannot go back so the conversation stays really focused. So even if you wouldn't set up 13 different options, but all the options you would set up would be visible inside the little window so the customer can select the one which resonates most of them. Then the selection of the quick reply will be highlighted in blue so the user can see which option the customer chose. Now there's channel specific conditions for Facebook and for Instagram. In Facebook, you can add quick replies alongside buttons and images. Versus in Instagram, you can only add buttons or quick replies. And quick replies can only be added in Instagram if there's no additional attachment in the message. Now this new feature will really help you to encourage faster and more efficient responses from your prospects or customers. You could also, for example, divide your customer service into three sections. Let's say the customer has a question regarding a purchase, a booking, or wants to set an appointment. So you can then divide these replies individually and send, for example, an internal push notification to your staff members for the one who is then responsible for the bookings and for the one who is responsible for the appointments and so on and so forth. Now, let me show you how you can set this up. Now, first off, let's click on automation on the left, workflows at the top and create a new workflow. We're going to choose our existing one here and here we go. So let's say we are going to choose the trigger somebody commented on our post. Click add trigger. You can just type comment in the search bar and then select either comment on Facebook post or comment it on a Instagram post. Let's select Facebook for now. Then you want to select your Facebook page. Then you want to select the post in question if you're targeting a specific post. You don't have to select this if you just want this to work for all of the posts, for example. In this case, let's take this post and let's hit save trigger. Then we want to click actions plus type Facebook and here you see the Facebook interactive messenger. So click that. Then here under reply type, you want to select reply to comment via DM. You could also reply to DM, but since we have set the trigger, hey, somebody comments on our post, Want to reply to comment via DM, okay? Then on the templates, you would select your template. Let's select this one. Uh, and by the way, this is not actually templates, but if you go here to marketing on the left and then snippets at the top, that's that's actually the template, okay? So actually it is a snippet, it's not a template. And then you want to scroll further down. You can add an attachment or a file right here. Let's click add attachment. If you wanted to add a file, you could also put the URL right here. Okay. Now here is the quick reply section. Okay. You can add buttons or just simply little messages. In this case, let's just do both. Click add button, name the button. Let's say yes, interested, then select the condition. Let's open a website because they say yes. So if they say yes, we want to send them to an opt-in form to VSL or something like that. Let's add another button. No, thanks. I have questions. So they don't really want the offer right now because they still have some doubts, for example. Then we can add call number, for example. Okay. Then we can add our phone number here. And then let's scroll down. We can also set this up. Then here we can add quick replies. Add a quick reply. Quick reply one. Let's say positive. Enter the quick reply. So, hey, yes, please. And here you can see maximum 20 characters. Add another quick reply. Let's say need more. And then enter the quick reply, for example, speak to someone as the option. Okay. Then here, the wait step would be in, is in minutes. So this would be one minute after they commented on the Facebook post, this gets triggered. Okay. You can keep it as that, or you can adjust it if you want. And that's it. Let's hit save action. Now we have four options here. Obviously these first two here mean the same thing as the, the other two here. So you would only either select buttons or messages. So this is just for demonstration purposes. Okay. And if they don't do, click anything, then they would just move into the default timeout. 
And then from here, you could literally do anything. Let's say yes, interested, click here, select interactive messenger. See the Instagram is blurred out now, grayed out because we haven't set this as a trigger. It would also be selectable if, if the trigger would be um, Instagram. So let's select Facebook interactive messenger and let's say reply to the M right now. Okay. And here you can either select another snippet or you put your message as you wish, right? And or down here you add more buttons and more quick replies. For now, I just keep it as a message for demonstration purposes. Hit save action. Now let's make sure to hit publish and save top right corner. And let's just go and test this real quick. Now, so this is the video we have selected as the post. Right here is the trigger, right? So publish post. Post is this one, okay? Now let's comment on here. Now, here we go. The message already pops up with the image we have integrated. Amazing. Let's scroll back up. Nice. Here is the little snippet we've pulled in. Okay. Hey, are you still interested in this thing? Yes, interested. No, thanks. You see the little image. Great. And here's our two buttons. Okay. Now let's say we just click yes, please. And you can see the message is highlighted in blue, which signifies to the business that this message has been selected. Okay. If we wanted to click on this button up here, for example, click yes, interested, then it would forward us to the URL, in this case, google.com, which we have placed behind the button. Right. Let's go back here. You see here the button, yes, interested. We put google.com, right? Now from here, you could also get really creative. You could add a chat GPT, for example, select chat GPT here. You could say, analyze the text, okay, and only reply if the reply is positive. For example, this could be an example to teach the ChatGPT bot that, hey, yes, this is positive, but they need more information. Then hit the save action button. And then you can go from here and send another message, for example. All right, that's it already. And this is how you integrate interactive messages or buttons inside of Facebook or Instagram. I hope you like this new feature and I will see you in the next video. Oh,